Once again, it's Dan, Mervin, and Gun Food for Thought. Today, what I'm going to go through, guys, is the decisions that I've made with my pleather leather duty belt. Okay, the belt itself is pleather. Um, some of the accessories on it are pleather. I have one or two accessories on it that are indeed leather. Okay, most of it is pleather or play leather, if you will. First things first, the anchor to the whole system, the belt. It's the Uncle Mike's Mirage line, okay? The reason I keep on going with Uncle Mike's is because they're extraordinarily stiff. They're able to handle a lot of gear. I mean, I pile gear upside down and backwards on a, almost every single Uncle Mike's belt that I've ever used, and they've just held on. They've never let go. They've never cracked. Um, every now and again, the Velcro can get messed up, and you have to replace the belt itself. They're about 35 bucks. They're not all that expensive. You can get them all over the place, okay? Moving on. Here is my uh, my magazine pouch. Now, this is a magazine pouch not for the Glock 19 magazines, which are on it now. It's It was actually for the SP2022. Now, I'll get into what happened with the SP a little bit later in a different video. Right now, I just want to want to keep on going right here. Okay, this is the 6280 holster that I've gone through with other other videos. This one actually is in gray STX. You can't really truly tell, but it doesn't really and truly detract from the look of the belt itself. So I'm not really and truly worried about it. The same hood that's on it. It's got the same sentry switch that's on it. Like I said, that particular thing can cost you $20. That's not that expensive to get that particular accessory. And that accessory, I've never seen it anywhere else other than safariland.com. So you're going to have to go through it. Um, the holster itself is kind of expensive. I was able to purchase this when I was flush with money. Right now, I'm kind of, I'm kind of a little destitute with money. But they're normally about $117, which is actually not that bad. The same Glock 19 you guys have seen a thousand times before on the channel, so I'm not going to pull it out of the holster and show you. But that sentry switch keeps me safe and everybody else safe all around me. It turned this holster from a level 2 to a level 3. Now, the way it was able to do that is because it locks behind this SLS hood. And it, and it keeps the SLS hood from going down without my permission. See, it's locked in there right now. It's not coming down, no matter how hard I push or pull. Okay? These cuffs, I have had these things forever. They're Smith & Wesson M100s. They're the chain system. A lot of guys don't like chain handcuffs. They prefer hinged handcuffs. I'm not much into the hinged handcuff movement. I really am not. They have their advantages, but the, they also have their detriments. Okay? Um, true hinged handcuffs can keep you from moving around a lot, but also they can keep you from, you know, they can also get you hurt if you're not really and truly careful. I carry chain ones to give my offenders a, or guys that I'm trying to arrest a little bit more movement that's the reason I like the chain handcuffs and I'll show you guys the key here in just a second the flashlight in here is kind of new however this holder is not I'll go over it, it, it in just a second and this is a Luma gear I found this at a truck stop for like twenty dollars they're rather cheap but they're rather bright also check out Okay, and it has three modes. It has a, it has a bright mode, a flash mode, bright, medium, and flash. That's the modes it has on it, and I really, really like it a lot. It helps me to see, you know, somebody's ID or something like that. Like I said, they're not that much money. You can find them all over the place. They're twenty bucks. <laughs> Rather easy to find and rather easy to get. Now, this handcuff holder is slightly different. Um, if you'll, you guys remember, I had that big old Bianchi Acumold um, double handcuff pouch. 
I thought it was just too heavy. Didn't like it. I didn't like the way it felt, and I true I could reach it with both hands, but it felt weird. I, it had too much bulk to it, and it was dragging my whole the whole front end of my belt down. So I just took it off of there. Um, I still have it, by the way. Um, this is a good, real good flashlight pouch. Um, an offender over at Angola built that for me, believe it or not. Yes, it used to have a flap over the top of it, but I took the flap off so I could, you know, just hold standard everyday flashlights without really and truly, without the flap really and truly messing up or, or cracking or cutting or any of that kind of thing. So I just took the flap off. It still looks very, very good. However, I need to add a little bit of polish to it. <laughs> yes. This is the exact same badge you guys saw last time. I have it in this exact same holder you guys saw. Actually, no. It's in a slightly new holder. I bought this holder for like 10 bucks off of Amazon. It wasn't that expensive. This one says security enforcement officer on it. This one's a silver one. I had a gold one for a while. I just, just don't know, remember what I did with it. I love this key ring holder. Um... It works out extraordinarily well. You can find them all over the place. My favorite spot to get them, though, is Amazon, or you can find them at any police supply store. They're like $7. They're not that expensive, guys. So if you're a correctional officer, hey, they hold on to keys extraordinarily well, and you don't have to go looking all over the place. They're like 7 bucks. They're extraordinarily cheap. And here's my handcuff key. A lot of you guys thought that was a pen there for a minute, didn't you? I like pen-style handcuff keys because they're hard to lose. And you get all kinds of different accessories on it. This one will fit all kinds of Smith & Wesson and, um, and peerless handcuff, handcuffs and leg shackles and leg irons and so forth. And I found this for about nine bucks. At the local police supply store is rather cheap however there are ones out there that are like six or seven dollars hell there's some out there for like 50 cents you just look all over the place for them and you'll be able to find them these are belt keepers now the reason you're that you're going to need belt keepers is for one reason and one reason only so that you can protect your belt so that you can anchor anchor ankle anchor your belt if i can talk to a inner duty belt okay and i'll show you that here in just a sec this is the uncle mike's inner duty belt now i wear this thing all the time hell when i get one of these things i wear them out my last one was just completely terrible you can get them for like 10 or 15 bucks they're not that expensive at all they work very very well to anchor a duty belt to your to your inner duty belt and as you can see if you look hard enough they have velcro see and that's how they open and close look okay I think this entire system really and truly tells a lot of folks hey back off this guy is rather serious about what he wants to do and how safe he wants to keep himself and the public around him. That's the reason that I carry this stuff. I'm not trying to show off. I'm not trying to say, hey, look at all the this money that I spent. All I'm trying to do is say, hey, back off. This guy is serious about what about trying to keep everybody and and himself safe. Okay. If you have any questions or comments, or if you'd like to know a little bit more about my duty belt. Or the other duty belt, I'm probably going to go with the other duty belt for a for a different video. Although you guys have probably seen it if you followed the channel for a while. You can check me out on my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash gun food for thought. You can also check me out on Instagram at gun food for thought. Have a great day.